Well, good morning everyone. Uh, happy Tuesday morning. And uh, we have a piece of scripture we're going to read today. And we are joined by Amos and Annabelle behind me. Um, so say hi to them. Uh, Amos is our new addition here at the house. Uh, this morning as we, we go to God in prayer, we, we want to lift up AJ and her family. Uh, as, as her husband has passed away and gone on to church eternal. And um, so this morning we're going to read from Psalm 62. And it says this. It says, My soul waits in silence for God alone. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I will not be greatly shaken. How long will you attack a man that you may murder him, all of you, like a leaning wall, like a tottering fence? They have planned only to thrust him down from his high position. They delight in falsehood. They bless with their mouth, but inwardly they curse. Salah. My soul wait in silence for God alone, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my refuge. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my glory rest on God. The rock of my strength, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before Him. God is a refuge for us. Salah. People of low standing are only breath, and people of rank are a lie. In the balances they go up, together they are lighter than breath. Do not trust in oppression, and do not vainly rely on robbery. If wealth increases, do not set your heart on it. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. And faithfulness is yours, Lord, for you reward a person according to his work. That is from Psalms 62. And this particular transla translation is the NASB, uh, the New American Standard. And uh, this is also from its 2020 rendition. As I read this scripture, it kind of sounds a little funny. Uh, I say funny, ironic. It does seem to tie into things that we deal with today. This idea that those that are wealthy uh, set themselves up, up, set themselves up, up on high, <clears throat> and those that are lowly seem to just wither in the dust. But the thing that I really appreciate about the scripture, about the psalmist is that they never lose sight of what matters most. That's God. That is that God is always there. And I know you've probably heard me say this and definitely heard Pastor Jack say that, that you know God walks along us and he's never not at our sides and how he's always there before we even get there. But sometimes we forget in the midst of being in the trenches of the day-to-day -day life and yesterday was uh, the day that we honored Martin Luther King, and we try to remember those times too. But I saw this uh, meme actually from his daughter, I believe, and it talked about how in the moment there were a lot of people that didn't like him. It's just true uh, in the country, uh, this is, you know, 50 plus years ago. And in the moment, we lose sight of things. We have a different perspective of things. And as we move closer and closer to these, this political and social and uh, the corona, you know, we will in the future look back upon this differently than maybe how we feel now. But from this psalm, what I think, what I hope, is that when we look back, we see that God was with us. No matter what our opinions were about anything, no matter what was going on in our life, if uh, we have had loss um, or if we've gained something, like a puppy that likes to chew on everything. But in the midst of those frustrations, never losing sight that God is with us, that God is who we look to, that God is who we hope for, that, we, that, that gives us that light at the end of the tunnel, but not just... The light at the end, but realizing that the light is all around us. 
in the this particular translation it says do not trust in oppression and do not vainly rely on robbery if wealth increases do not set your heart on it god has spoken once twice i have heard this that power belongs to god how true is that always always there is oppression is not forever Robbery may get you something in the meantime, but it doesn't last. And wealth definitely disappears, no matter how fast you accumulate it. But God is always there, and the power is always there with Him. Even though we might not see it, we may miss it, uh, we might not think about it, um, and let life blandly go by, but God is always, always the one with the power. And he is always the one that we should hope for. So, let us pray. Gracious and holy God, thank you for giving us this day to wake up and to breathe and to live life. May we re be reminded in the moments that you are always with us and that the strength is always with you. That you are our rock. You are our firm foundation that we can rise out of bed and put our feet on. That protect us. God, our hearts, may we be changed by your love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, now that my puppies are going like gangbusters out there uh, trying to defend our home, um, I will see you guys later. Have a blessed and wonderful week.